This is number one Roosevelt Avenue. And this is where little Daniel Rowe was taken and her throat slashed after she was picked up from her school by a female in Brayton, St. Catherine. Now, it's an abandoned building, but it would appear as if a car wash was in operation here sometime before. But let's take a look inside to see what obtains at the moment. The compound is overgrown with shrubs, signaling it's not been occupied for some time. But inside some of the rooms, pieces of cardboard and clothing on the floor, enough evidence to suggest that persons have been sleeping here. The front of the derelict building is unfinished. On a point of clarity now, we've been hearing that little Daniel was thrown from a vehicle by her abductors. Now that didn't actually happen. What transpired was it appears as if she was trying to elude her abductors and ran to the gate here outside where we're now seeing specks of blood on the sidewalk here. Now it could mean that she stood here for a little while and was bleeding before she ran out into the road and bumped into the back of a car driven by a member of the Jamaica Defense Force. He took her to hospital in a bid to save her life. We were also told that when she came outside, she had her backpack on. We searched the entire premises looking for signs which could possibly indicate where on site the eight-year-old's attackers cut her throat, but we found none. Now, now looking around and knowing very well that uh, this is the very building where little Daniel was taken and her abductors mercilessly slashed her throat. Sends chills down my spine. It's not a very good feeling being here with all that knowledge. The police say they continue to search for Daniel's attackers and are asking the public for help. You may contact us at NIB tip line 811 Crime Stop. 311 or you can call police 119 with any information you have no matter how simple you may think it is we need to know kirk right here at roosevelt avenue for tvj news